Hi, welcome back into the Happy Place Garden. I'm Melinda and today um, is Mother's Day and I wanted to take this opportunity to um, pay my appreciation to my mom and to my mother-in-law for supporting me in my love of gardening and to also do a little tour and kind of show you what is in bloom and some of the the plants that they have given me over the years. So um, to tell you a little bit about my mom. She is not a gardener. Uh, growing up, we had, I, I grew up with three older brothers and our yard was just, you know, in a, a traditional, um, you know, small lot uh, community. And our backyard was grass because we played soccer and baseball and all of those things. And the front yard was pretty much grass. There were a few shrubs, a rhododendron, um, but really not much there. Um, not that she didn't love plants, um, but you know, taking care of four kids and you know, going to to soccer and baseball and all those things that you know moms do, uh, she really didn't have time to get out there and um, you know do much gardening other than mowing the lawn. So, um, so I didn't grow up, you know, with uh, a love of gardening or you know out there and and learning about plants and that kind of thing, but. I found um, PBS. I learned a lot from PBS as a kid and loved the show, The Victory Garden and The Square Foot Gardener and uh, a few other shows. I don't remember the names now, it was so long ago, but um, they really inspired and nurtured my love of gardening. And, you know, I, I mentioned that to my mom and said, you know, hey, can, can I garden in the backyard? Can we make some planter boxes? And can I plant a perennial garden? And my, you know, my dad had um, a little vegetable garden up by the house. Um, and so we grew tomatoes and, you know, some fun things like that. But, uh, you know, no, not any perennials other than, you know, some planter boxes with some annuals and that kind of thing. So, so she agreed and my dad built um, these amazing planter boxes um, around the perimeter of the the yard uh, along the fence and I would go and buy all sorts of plants that I saw on the Victory Garden and uh, it was a lot of fun and so I really thank you mom for letting me um, follow my bliss you know letting me explore and learn new things um, and nurture that love of gardening in me and and then when we got our house, you know, we, um, she gave me a bunch of, of plants and things, which I'm going to take you around and show you. Um, so it's really special to me when I look out at, you know, my yard and I see, you know, the things that my mom or my mother-in-law gifted me. Um, it, it really touches my heart. So with that, um, we will start on a little tour and I will, will show you more of the joy that they brought me. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you want to follow more of my garden journey to click that subscribe button in the notification so you see all my videos when they come on. Thanks so much and we will start our tour. So we are going to start this tour with the these magnificent purists that are in bloom. They're just coming off their peak but oh so pretty and the pollinators just love them. And I believe there are three plants here, possibly four. Um, and these started out in little gallon sized pots. So they were a tabletop um, centerpiece for my bridal shower. So my mom had got, gotten these for the tabletop decoration. And um, when we got our, well, actually we got our house before we got married, um, about six months before. And so after the, the shower, then I, um, ended up putting them in our landscape. I had them in the front of the house, but um, it got too much sun. And so I ended up moving them back here and um, they've just been great ever since. And they've got bigger and I, you know, I hedge them so they stay underneath the window um, and they just are lovely. I love them. Thanks mom. So this um, shrub or tree, bush, whatever you want to call it, is a snowball, snowball viburnum. And it gets these, um, let me see, the buds here, they'll get these white, um, white snowball shaped blooms on them. And this was a housewarming gift that my mom got me. And it was one of the first things that ended up going in the ground at our house. So this, this was an established bed between the concrete and the house. It was full of weeds though, when we got it, got the house, but clean that up. And I planted the snowball, snowball viburnum here and the skinnia and this Carex, 
the Carex right here. And then the Vinca, the Vinca Minor was um, gifted, I do believe by my mother-in-law, Sharon. So thank you, Sharon. Um, and the Snowball Viburnum, we've suffered with a Viburnum beef, leaf beetle. Um, I made a video on that, which you can check out. I'll link it above um, if you're struggling with that too. So I've been treating it though, and it's been doing okay. So I love this tree. Can we just pause and take a moment to show off these gorgeous tulips and daffodils? Oh my goodness, I just love it. But next to it um, is a pot that I usually put my annuals that my mother-in-law gave me, as well as this pot and this pot. So uh, I've gotten lots of great pots. Thank you, Sharon. And this tree is my Boulevard Cypress that my mom gifted me. Um, I call it my, we called it, how did we name it? Our Poodle Pines. And um, so I've had these for like early on when we got the house too. And we've got some juncos that are yelling at me because they are starting to make a nest in this um, topiary. So I recently trimmed them or pr pruned them before the juncos start making nests in them because they pretty much do every year. I've seen um, pairs of them at each one. We've got two of them. This is a really pretty, uh, either a rhododendron or azalea. I'm not sure, it could be a dwarf rhododendron. It stays evergreen and it has these pretty purple blooms. And my mother-in-law gave this to me. And here is a really pretty dappled willow that my mother-in-law gifted me. She actually gifted me a pear, which I've got the other one that I still need to plant down by the creek, but it's just starting to leaf out. And I think it's really pretty in this spot. It um, took over for a, a curly filbert um, that died, unfortunately. But I think I like this better in this spot anyway. And this Akuba, actually I got several from my mother-in-law. So thank you, Sharon. This is in my shade garden and it's love and life. Here's the other looked into the shade garden. The hostas are coming in to bloom, which she actually gave me a bunch of hostas too. So many plants through the years. Thank you, Sharon. Check out this Akuba. You can see how tall it is. It's just massive. This started out in a one gallon pot. Uh, she dug it out of her yard because the deer ate it down to just the sticks and uh, she, she brought a few up to me and I popped them in the ground and they've been loving life ever since. And here's a look at the new perennial bed that was planted a little bit ago. I did that on a video and I forgot these were some Asian lilies that right here that my mother-in-law um, brought up to me and I popped them in here last year and forgot about them and planted the peony right over it. So I'll have to uh, put these in a different spot maybe, but they're red blooming. And I just happened to notice I planted some hollyhock in here and we've got some little babies coming up. Yay, hollyhock. So cute. These are some baby poppy. I put a bunch of poppy seeds I harvested from a poppy last year. Lots coming up. I'm gonna have to thin those out. is a spring bouquet viburnum that my mother-in-law gave me one of many i've struggled with it however it gets um some black spot and things so but it's so pretty and i i pruned it up into topiary form and i really love it in this spot and we're getting some bloom here this this spring really pretty and lastly i have to talk about the lilac which is pictured in um, the Happy Place Garden little logo. And this lilac came from my grandma's uh, neighbors, Mrs. Finning's yard. And her daughter took some cuttings from Mrs. Finning's lilacs and rooted them. And when we got her house, gave me a little teeny tiny start. Um, and here it is now looking just glorious. We're gonna get so many blooms on it this year. 
and my birthday is in May. And my grandma, she would always bring me a big bouquet of lilacs. So it, uh, when lilacs come into bloom, it just touches my heart um, and reminds me of my grandma who ended up um, living to be almost 101 and was just a grand lady and I miss her dearly. Um, but it warms my heart to, to be able to see my beautiful lilac and think of her. So thank you for spending a little bit of your time on Mother's Day with me, or if you're seeing the video after Mother's Day, that you'll think about it and think about your moms and how they've touched your lives. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day, a wonderful day, and happy gardening. Take care. Bye-bye.